Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me again. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome um, and I hope you um, enjoy the reading. Uh, please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe. Um, it is a general reading, um, so aspects of it may apply to you or uh, they could apply to um, somebody else that you are close to at this time. Um, I have already shuffled and laid out the cards. I use the um, 12 houses of the zodiac, so as the cards are appearing in each house, then those are the influences that are coming to bear at this time. Bottom of the deck, um, overall, uh, Venus love. So um, I feel that looking at the at your chart, for some of you, um, you may have uh, somebody important coming into your life. Um, and this is indicated by this card. It's indicated by your first house and your second, uh, seventh house as well. So it, for some of you, this may um, be appropriate uh, where you have um, somebody coming in um, who is going to activate this uh, for you. Um, if it's not, um, then it really is about um, just general uh, appreciation of beauty in all its forms, whether this is art or, um, you know, uh, fashion or the arts in general. Uh, it could be open air concerts, galleries, any kind of artistic endeavor, whether it's you doing it or other people are doing it. It's the appreciation of beauty in all its forms. Um, it's also about, uh, you know, the striving for charm. Uh, exhibiting charm, expressing charm, and also refinement. That all comes in under the, the Venus um, Venus card. It could, as I say, be romantic um, in nature, what is coming into you or what is coloring your chart this month. Um, but also with this card comes in um, various um, aspects to do with um, um, mediation, negotiation, and so on. Um, so, you know, um, that may come in as well, um, applying your charm and your, um, uh, your, the better side of your nature to oversee any, um, issues. Um, it's also about fairness as well. Um, and, um, it is, it can also be, um, about, um, just a, appreciation of life in general, appreciation of home comforts, um, luxuries, um, and so on, bringing that more into your life, um, self-care and also um, the nurturing and the care of others, the love of self and the love of others. So all of those aspects um, can come in um, with this card. Then in the uh, first house, we have Gemini, I think. So um, this um, card coming in the first house is everything. First house is everything to do with the self your physical self, your physical body, your vitality, your life force. It's also your appearance, um, how you appear to others, uh, what you're projecting outward to them at this time. Um, and it's also your characteristics and your personality um, and just what you're exhibiting right now. It's also your self-oriented interests that's covered by the first house um, and your um, your own personal independence, how you are making your way in the world, what is happening in your life, how you, how you, how you actually meeting the world, um, and the face that you meet it with. That is your first house and that is your, yourself. So, uh, with this card, this is all about communication of all kinds. Um, so for a lot of you, this is going to be very important no matter what is going on, um, in your, in your chart. So it's about communicating. Um, it's about being quick thinking, quick reaction as well. Um, also, um, enjoying interesting activities because um, boredom could be high with this card. Um, so interesting, curious activities, um, learning, exchange of ideas, researching, um, also um, using your, you know, being versatile and adaptable to all kinds of circumstances going on. So whatever is going on in your life, whatever is happening in your life at this time, it's about meeting that um, with, uh, you know, an open mind, but being quick about what you want to do, quick witted, quick thinking, quick on your feet, uh, communicating and being versatile. Um, it can also be about uh, paying attention to what is going on around you at this time as well. That could be very important. Um, it can also be that, um, you know, uh, some explanation is required from you in something. Um, or you could be talking yourself into or out of a tricky situation. That can come in with Gemini as well. Um, it could also be that you're hearing gossip or you're involved in gossip or you're being talked about right now. 
that can happen as well. Um, with a Gemini card, um, technology, electronics uh, may be coming in. So you may be upgrading in some way. Perhaps you're getting a new camera or you're getting a new laptop or a phone uh, or either one of these are going to be important, um, you know, in how you're going to move yourself forward right now. Or you could just be learning a new system of some sort. Publishing, writing, any of those also come in with this card. Um, you could also be multitasking. There could be lots of things going on uh, around you at this time. Um, with the, as I said, if it is a relationship that's coming into your life and that's being evidenced here as well, then um, this this is the lover's card of the zodiac. It represents that the twins. Um, so it could be that something like that is coming in for you, and this is going to activate a few other things in your chart. Um, so just be aware of that. That might be an option for some of you. Um, it is also um, with this card, uh, when it comes to yourself and how you're presenting yourself at this time, just um, be aware that um, too much talk, too much chit-chat, um, any of those sorts of things um, can make you come across as a bit glib or a bit fickle or two-faced. Um, or you could come across as a bit argumentative with too many words and too many this, you know, too much going on. Um, uh, you know, just just a lot of chatting and talking, um, and and it really is also, a, as I said, a time to pay attention to what is going on, and um, and just watch your words, what you're saying, and uh, and what is going on from that point of view. Second house is the house of income, so this is what uh, your money that's coming in for you, however you earn it. Um, it's also the house of self-worth and the house of values, your value systems. So what you value in yourself, what you value in others and in your your possessions and your ownership. It all falls under the um, second house. Also real estate, property, land, anything to do with that. So now with Pisces, I believe um, you may just have been through a bit of a rough patch or uh, some sort of patch where you've required a lot of adjustment and um and so on. Uh, and this card comes in just to remind you to have belief, have faith and have trust. Um, you may also just uh, need to surrender to what is going on right at this time. Um, that's one aspect of this card. The other aspect is also to make sure that you think clearly at this time. Be clear about your intentions and your actions at this time. Because uh, Pisces can sometimes um, be the sign of self-undoing or self-sabotage. Um, so you could be putting block, blocks into your, in, in, in your own way, if you know what I mean. Or you could be saying or doing something which undoes a lot of hard work that you've already put in place. So just be aware of that. Um, or it could be that you are, um, uh, you know, uh, seeing this in somebody else's life that's related to you. Um, and it's making you ponder your own self-worth and your own values and so on. It could also be that um, with the Pisces card coming in, um, it, it's, it's a very, um, it, the card, it, it, it's sort of, it's ruled by Neptune. So that engenders uh, a lot of um, connection with the divine, with source. Um, your dream life may be very strong. Um, you could also be um, enjoying a few illusions and fantasies at this time. So that is why I say be careful with your finances in particular, in particular or uh, with your self-worth, that you're not falling under some kind of illusion or, or sort of fantasy. Um, you need to keep your feet on the ground um, and set good boundaries at this time. Otherwise, you could find yourself getting a little bit confused about what needs to be done in this house. Um, and and you, you need to stay on track with this. You need to stay on track and finish what you start and um, don't fall by the wayside, um, losing track of what it is you need to do or what your objectives are. So be very clear thinking and, um, and in your intentions and your actions at this time. In the third house, this is your house of communication. Uh, it's the house of your uh, verbal, written, uh, anything to do with words, um, any form of communication can be online as well. It can also be your body language. Um, it's also the house of uh, contracts and documents. Um, and I feel that's going to be very important uh, with this Virgo card. Um, it's also the house of short trips, local journeys. So with Virgo, I analyze coming in. Um, it really is, a, could, could be that there's a bit of chaos or turmoil going on in this house. Um, and you need to bring order uh, into what is going on. So it, it's it, it's a very detail-oriented card. It's service-oriented. 
Um, you need to be precise about what you're doing. Um, and uh, you may also be uh, weighing up what is and what is not working for you in this house. So it's your form of communication, it's your self-expression and everything to do with documents and written things uh, and contracts. Um, so you may also just need to deal with issues, um, to actually face them and deal with them, sort problems out because they won't go away. Um, you need to really be pr precise about what you're doing now. Uh, this is also the ultimate declutter card. So declutter. Uh, and I feel that could be to do with paperwork, contracts, any kind of documentation that you deal with. Declutter, get yourself organized. Use the Virgo energy to do that um, for you because that's going to be important. It's also about, um, you know, what you say in your words and how, you, how you're communicating with others as well. Um, there could be a bit of an emotional declutter which is required. But always with this card, aim to be um, to, to come across as reliable. You need to be seen as reliable at this time. Um, uh, and that is, as I say, falling in your communication house. So um, you, you need to walk your talk as well. Um, it's about being conscientious, helpful, and constructive at this time. That's going to be very important for you. Um, <clears throat> if you're asked to give advice or to talk to others or be involved perhaps in um, you know helping others, it's useful advice. Useful communication that is required, constructive advice. Um, and, um, you know, just appear, you know, you must be seen as conscientious and reliable at this time. Avoid uh, slipping into criticism, uh, whether that's of yourself or others. Avoid criticism, nitpicking and worrying about things as well, because that all uh, is embodied in the Virgo energy. In the fourth house, we have Grand Cross Provoker. Fourth house is the house of your um, home and your family. So this is your physical home. Uh, it's where you're currently residing. It's also the atmosphere in the home or the people in your home. Um, it's also your uh, relationship with your family history, your foundation, your roots, your ancestry, your ethnic identity. It's, it's where you've come from. It's your relationship with that whole family um, aspect. So with Grand Cross Provoker, Something is going on in this house which is causing quite a bit of pressure, stress, possibly even difficulty. Um, you could be feeling like you're spread a bit thin at the moment. Um, there could be quite a lot of frustration because you have four hard angles all bearing down, uh, uh, you know, there's going to be quite a lot of pressure at this time. But this pressure is designed to be a catalyst uh, for movement or for change. So something needs to change in this in this house um, and if you use this energy wisely, it can lead to you actually developing a lot of inner strength and stamina. Um, so it's about using all your skills at this time. You may feel like you're juggling um, and, and, and you're not really making much progress, but you've got a lot going on and you're juggling. Um, but it's, it really is about being disciplined at this time. You're going to need to prioritize what you're doing. Um, time management is important. Um, and also endurance to stick through things through thick and thin. Um, eventually, once this period is over, um, you will need to, um, you know, sort of a renewal and success. But it's that it's that phase that you go through the, the work and the juggling and the prioritizing that's important um, at this time. So, as I said, this could be to do with your actual home life. Perhaps you're changing your home life or you're doing something in your home. And there's just a lot going on that has to be dealt with. Perhaps you're dealing with all different um, workers and um, um, aspects of the home. Perhaps you're building a home. Um but it could also be to do with perhaps you're having a dual situation where you're, you're with this family pressure about something and also to do with your home or the people in your home. So there's a lot going on. You're just going to be juggling a lot, a lot of things, but you need to prioritize what's important and then manage your time. In the fifth house, we have Aquarius, I know. Fifth house is the house of children, whether that's your children or other people's children you're associated with now. It's also the house of your creativity. Uh, so this is your originality, your, in, your uh, individuality, your stamp, your brand, however you want to look at it. Uh, it could be a creative project you're involved in, but it really is all of us use our creativity every day in every way. Uh, but it can also be artistic abilities. Not everybody's artistic, but if you are, it covers that as well. It's also the house of recreational activities, everything fun, outgoing, outdoors, um, anything pleasurable, uh, enjoyable for you, all recreational activities. It's also the house of um, love affairs 
and what goes on in that. It's also the house um, of risk-taking activities. So this can be gambling um, and it can be um, things to do with the stock exchange, stock market and so on. So with this card um, coming in, this is um, this is indicating that um, you could be having glimpses of what could be the future. Um, and this could be to do with your children as well. Uh, but you're getting sort of um, a look into the future or a glimpse of what could be. It also uh, could be a deep insight or a realization about something. Um, it could also be that you're able to see trends and currents going on. So this could be trends in your activities or uh, trends to do with what your children are involved with. Or you, it could be a creative project that you're busy with. So it's, it's tracking that, tracking the trends and currents of society and what is popular and what isn't. Um, you could be, if you've got a project or something that you're trying to get off the ground, um, you could have uh, support of friends and alliances at this time. They're going to be powerful, um, a powerful help for you. Um, also with this card, um, always technology, science, science fiction comes in. So you could be upgrading something, um, some technical, uh, technical aspect that you're using in this house. Uh, it could even be a camera. It could be a phone, your laptop or technology that you're using to create something, or your children may be involved with this, but it's got that uh, science aspect to it, um, and technology is always important. But it's usually quite, um, it's going to be an upgrade. It's more advanced than what you have been, or it could be super advanced. Um, this card also brings in reasoning abilities. Um, it's almost unemotional, um, not getting involved in the nitty-gritty. This is seeing things from a loftier perspective. So that comes in as well. Um, it could also be that networking is important in this house for you at this time. Um, so this, um, so this could be to do with, um, perhaps it's a project, project you're involved in or it's to do with your children, but networking and making contacts and getting involved in group activities may be important. It's also, <clears throat> it's also, um, it also could be that you are um, uh, getting exposure to um, exotic, <clears throat> unusual, unconventional or foreign people. Um, so this could be a trip that you're involved in um, or you're interacting with people um, that are very different from you in some way. So if you're, um, if you're traveling, then that is very much the case. But it's very exotic, very unusual, unconventional or foreign. Anything to do with that comes in under the Aquarius um, card. So you could be interacting with this. You could be visiting places like this. It's all, as I said, this house covers all kinds of um, activities, um, recreational activities. So if it's a holiday for you, very much um, you're going to be learning and enjoying and seeing things that are very different from your way of life and really getting a lot out of that. And that could be very stimulating and enjoyable. And therefore, if you're upgrading your technology, it could be a new camera that you're getting um, or you're going to be downloading um what you what you what you're um seeing and taking images of uh it's all to do with that it could also be that in this house you're feeling tested in some way or it could be your children that are being tested right now um there could be some challenges going on uh, and you're just going to need to apply a rational or, or reasoning mindset uh, to work your way through it um so a mixed bag for this house <clears throat> Then in the um, sixth house, we have Grand Trine Blessings. Sixth house is the house of work, workplace, work colleagues. Um, it's also the um, house of your, uh, you know, mastery of your craft, whatever it is that you do. Um, it's also the house of health and diet and um, your lifestyle and the house of pets. So with Grand Trine Blessings coming in, um, this is a, this is a nice, uh, nice aspect to be having in this house. Um, it's going to bring an easier flow. So you may have been through a difficult period um, and this is going to make things flow a bit easier. Um, you could be experiencing a breakthrough of some kind as well. It will feel like luck, but possibly it's come from something that you've earned, you know, work that you've already put in, but a, a breakthrough coming coming into you. It could also indicate harmony. So harmony in your workplace or uh, with your lifestyle. Uh, so enjoying a, a more harmonious period. It could also be completion. This card does bring in a feeling of completion. So possibly you're completing a project or you're completing something that you have been busy with for some time. Um, uh, or it perhaps it's been a diet that you've been on or some kind of lifestyle change. And now you really are enjoying the benefits of what it is that you have been working on for so long. 
Um, it could also be um, that you are receiving blessings and opportunities at this time and um, you, you, you receiving these blessings and opportunities is going to feel wonderful, but you still need to work to anchor them. You still need to secure those blessings and opportunities for yourself. So there's a lot of potential, but you have to work at it. So you're going to, you're still going to need to apply effort. Um, sometimes with this card, it can bring in feelings of like complacency or avoidance or um, just letting things flow without actually exerting too much effort. Um, but in order to harness the blessings, you do need to uh, exert that effort. You do need to work to secure those blessings for yourself. <clears throat> this card is also about good timing. So um, you could be right place, right time. It's also about being well received uh, right now. So you could be um, wanting to ask for a loan or a, a raise or for, for finance for something. Um, and um, you will be well received in that regard. Um it could also be that your path is clearing right now. So if you've had obstacles and difficulties, either a new path or, or some kind of, um, you, you know, uh, arrangement has been made where those blocks have been removed. So you're going to have less resistance. Um, art, all artistic um, activities are highly indicated with this. So um, you may be enjoying that or maybe you're using that and you're now going to be making that your work or your, your craft. But all artistic activities are um, are blessed with this card. Um, as I said, just avoid uh, complacency or coasting um, uh, or taking the easy way out on things. That can come in with this card because it's a very harmonious, very easy aspect. It brings a lot of almost like contentment and, and grace just about. So uh, it could be that you, you don't really feel like working. So it's all play and no work um, or you're taking the easy way out in some way. Um, as I said, you still need to work to anchor those blessings. It's not going to just drop in your lap. The potential is there, the opportunity is there, but you need to bring it in. From a health and diet and well-being point of view or lifestyle, um, as I said, just inertia or escapism may come in. So if you know there are certain things that you need to, need to do to look after yourself, whether it's diet related or perhaps a fitness regime or perhaps walking every other day, something like that, something to build up your body, to help your body, then you still need to do it. Um, so um, anything that you're just not dealing with or you feel you can't deal with, um, it, it, you know, you, you do still need to you still need to work out those things to keep yourself healthy and whole.